Hey guys, I'm Kelsey with Mahalo, and today I'm going to teach you how to decorate your Christmas tree. Alright, so what you need to decorate your Christmas tree is obviously your lights. Make sure that you plug in your lights and make sure they're all working before you start on the tree because nothing's worse than decorating your whole tree with lights and then them a light being burnt out and not working, so wah wah. You also need all your decorations, your glass bulbs, all the things you made uh, in crafts in first grade that your mom kept for 20 years. And here's a secret tip. You want to take these paper clips. Paper clips are way cheaper than the fancy schmancy decorating hangers and they work just as good. So big box of paper clips. So the first thing we're gonna do is light our tree. You wanna make sure that you plug in your lights and have them attached to the nearest outlet so that you can be sure that your lights plug in while they're on the tree. You don't want the outlet to be across the room. So what's gonna happen is I like to start at the back of the tree so that we can hide all the cords. And when you're putting the lights on, you wanna kind of anchor them towards the trunk of your real tree, obviously, um, <laughs> towards the trunk and then have them sort of coming out to the tips so that all the wires are hidden so that you don't see the, uh, you don't see the wires, you just see the pretty little light. So let's go. So now that you have all your lights on, doesn't it look pretty? looks so nice. We want to hang up our decorations. Now, uh, if you're using an artificial tree, you want to make sure that you kind of have all the um, little leaves and boughs out so that they make good uh, anchors for your decorations. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our beautiful glass bulb, and most Christmas decorations have some sort of loop or string or ribbon or something, and a little hook like this. What you're going to do is you're going to take your paper clip and you're going to clip it on like this and pull it through and then you're going to take the top of the paper clip and you're just going to pull it out to make a little hook like this see and then it's like a little hanger and so what i suggest doing is once you get your tree set up is kind of taking a look back and deciding where the focal point of your tree is going to be um, in your room uh, you know if it's in the center you need to make sure to decorate all the way around but if it's in the corner you just kind of want to decorate the front and so what i like to do is just kind of start with the uh, the parts of the tree that are just dying for a, a decoration and so like this one right here so you just want to hang it on the very end and kind of close it around and, uh, and you know you can bend it up or whatever so that they hang perfectly. I like to position all of my ornaments directly by lights because then when you turn the lights down and you have the log fire on for the Christmas time, the lights kind of glisten off the ornaments and it's really beautiful. So let's, uh, let's get some of these ornaments on. And we wanna make sure that when you're that sometimes you take a step back when you're decorating your Christmas tree because if you're really close to it you won't notice what colors you're using and what different ornaments so we want to make sure that the colors are all spread out too so I have two whites and red so I need to put a silver one over here and what I love to do sometimes which is like a little special treat is uh, if you have an ornament uh, that's really really special. I love to hide things inside my Christmas tree. So you know if there's a special little, let's pretend this is the most special ornament of all time, I like to hide them sort of inside so that you know when people come up and they look at your Christmas tree, oh my goodness your Christmas tree is so pretty and then there's like these little whimsical surprises sort of in buried inside so you can do that too. All right let's put a few, whoop, let's put a few more on here. All right, so last ornament. Where should she go? I think right out here in the front. So there you go, lights, ornaments. Now all you need is a log fire and a zillion presents to put underneath. Hey guys, thanks so much for crafting with me today. If there's another craft that you wanna learn, make sure to check out all these links around me or underneath me. And if you have a request for a craft that you haven't seen yet, send an email to requests at mahalo.com and make sure to subscribe and comment. We should talk about our crafts because they're really cool. I'll see you next time with my scissors and glue gun.